CataractCoach.com. Effective draping for cataract surgery. Sequestering the eyelid margin from the surgical field. Now our guest surgeon here sent this video in showing how he likes to do the draping here. Patient's half face and eyelids and lashes have been cleaned with 10% beta dye and that looks great. Here's placing on some sticky drapes over the patient. There you go, just the eyes exposed. And now here are the side pockets to help catch any fluid. Notice how the surgeon is not touching the patient's skin at all. So there's the round opening. He's placing it about two centimeters above the eyebrow for reference, he says. And now look at this, so interesting. This is using, there we go, this is a tegaderm. And he's using an edge of the tegaderm here to help lift the lashes up, lift the eyelid up. And so I also like to use the tegaderm in the way I drape the lashes, so very interesting. Using here the end of a Q-tip, again, no touching of the skin. And now opening the eye here, now the tegaderm can be placed here on that retracted eyelid. The tegaderm's cut in half, and you do the same thing for the bottom eyelid. So now you've really got the eyelids opened, and now the tegaderm is a flexible plastic sterile drape, and that can be placed there, look at this beautifully, and it'll cover the entire lid as well as go over the lid margin. And now when you put the speculum in, it'll curl over underneath the lid margin and you'll fully have sequestered the eyelashes and eyelid margin from your surgical field. So that looks great. Here's the tegaderm again being placed very carefully. Notice the entire time surgeon does not touch the eyelid skin. So that looks great. Now just place your speculum. I like to place a little BSS squirt on the eye now just to make sure we don't get a corneal abrasion. Speculum being placed. And that looks great. Now this reminds me of a video we had here on Cataract Coach long ago. I had my own video of how to do draping. And remember, there's such a beautiful archive. This is going back to video number 483. That's like six years ago. Check it out. CataractCoach.com. How to drape the eye without touching the eyelids for cataract surgery. Let me show you my technique. Here's how we do it at our Beverly Hills Surgery Center. We place this first drape that has a cutout for the eye and it's adhesive. And that sticks around the face and has a nice seal. And the eyelids are now exposed. We don't touch the eyelids. We're just touching the drape. Now my assistant will use a Steri strip and the back end of a wax cell to lift up that upper lid. And now I'll place this tegaderm and that'll get every single eyelash out of the way. We'll do it for the lower lid as well. And so without touching the skin at all, we're able to drape it so that every single eyelash is out of the way and there's a clear plastic drape around the lid margin. Here's it being done in a different facility. This is not our Beverly Hills Center. It's not me doing this procedure. But I want to just show you a different technique. In this technique, the patient's eyes again exposed. And the surgeon now is going to get a plastic drape. And when applying this, the skin has been prepped with povidoiodine. And so betadine. He's going to use his actual fingers touching the eyelid skin, which has been cleaned with the betadine solution. Then he'll put the clear drape down and then opening up this drape. And this is perfectly acceptable also. Now the question is, how obsessive are you about not touching the skin? The skin was prepped with the betadine solution. It is sterile. Certainly when you offer it in any other part of the body, the skin is being prepped in the same way and it's considered sterile. And so now he's incising the drape right down the middle there putting a little extra towel here to absorb any fluids during the procedure. And then a speculum is going to go inside the eye. And the goal of the speculum is to make sure those plastic drapes encompass and go around the lid margin. So you can see that's very good. Every eyelash is out of the way and underneath the drape. Here comes a speculum being placed. This is a nasal speculum, much like the one that I use. And as the drape is op uh, spread apart by the speculum, we'll see that plastic drape will go around the lid margins. There we go. And this also is very effective in getting every single eyelash out of the way. So we'll zoom in here, show you that view. And he's adjusting his speculum. And that looks great. Good exposure. Again, completely isolating the eyelash margin. I think that's the key for our surgeries. Avoids the contamination by oil and or debris. Let's go back to Beverly Hills. This is the same part I showed you at the beginning of this video how we drape in Beverly Hills. So the cutout drape goes on first, 
It has a built-in pouch there to catch fluid. In my right hand, I have the tegaderm drape that's been cut in half. My assistant will then use a single steri strip and open up that eyelid. There's a tegaderm being placed on the upper eyelid, and there's another one on the lower eyelid. And again, never touching the eyelid with my gloved hands. Speculum goes in the eye, and we're ready to go. So however you do it, let me know.